there and thank you for purchasing this posing video. Today we're going to learn how I do a few different poses. So first we're doing the tushy up pose up on the posing stand. Then I'm going to be moving and showing you a potato sack pose using a flaccati. Super cute. And then we're going to be moving down onto the floor and doing a prop shot. A little man in a little lamb suit there. So cute. And then we're going down, uh, or we're staying on the floor with the flaccati rug. This little guy was super unsettled this day, so we ended up having to fully wrap him. So we're going to show you how to do that. So I have basically a Paloma shell stand here that I use. Um, but I'm not a fan of beanbag posing, so I have converted my stand into an actual table. So I have a plain old table from Freedom Furniture, which just happens to fit perfectly in the stand. Um, this is a mega stand as well from Paloma, not a medium stand. Um, and then all I did was cut down the legs, so um, the actual table sits a little bit shorter. I think I cut probably 20 centimeters off the bottom. And then on top is a non-slip, one of those mat thingies. And then a big piece of foam from any foam store. This one was from Clark Rubber. Um, and then basically you just put a whole bunch of blankets on top. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six blankets on top. And by having them on there, you eliminate any creases or um, lines coming through on the top fabric. So it just has that seamless kind of look. So underneath here, I've got two um, posing wedges. So one rice filled wedge like that. And then another one sort of just at an angle towards the back for his legs. Mm -hmm. And then when we cover it all up, it'll be nice and seamless. This may need a little bit of adjusting because he's a big baby, so um, it might need to be spread out a little bit wider just to fit him. But we'll see how he goes. So this little guy has just had a full feed. Um, he should be sleepy, but he is so far from sleepy, it's not even funny. Um, I wanna also add this room temperature is at 28 degrees Celsius, so it's really, really warm and toasty for him. Um, he's not cold at all. In fact, he's a bit sweaty. How many days is he now, Lara? Um, he was born on Tuesday, so Tuesday night. He was mm -hmm. like three days old. Yeah. Oh, buddy. Two days old. Yeah. Three days old. Yeah. Very fresh. He's huge, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn, sweetness. Take this off. You wouldn't think newborns would be that big, hey? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you care about that? You told me. Well, naturally. Yes, tell him how. Tell, him, tell us how you did that. He was out within like 20 minutes. Second or? Second. second or? Yeah. So his sister was 4.4 kilos and he's 4.5. And she was a week overdue and he's a day early. Okay, so with little boys, you want mm -hmm. to tuck his bits and pieces forward mm -hmm. over his leg. Don't kick out. No kicking, buddy. Alright, let's get you relaxed here. I'm trying to go for a walk up. Oh my gosh. Hang on. Got it? Where are you going, buddy?
getting very sleepy. So with his little hand positioning here, you want to try and uh, line up his wrist with his shoulder um, and so that his little fingers are just in the uh, where teeth would sort of be on his jawline, um, not higher than that. You want it to be nice and snug sort of on the bottom jaw area. Um, and then you want his little wrist to, to tuck in towards his body rather than poking out mm -hmm. forwards. This little butt's so cute. Get the little butt. This was what his wedges and posing beans looked like exactly after I'd finished this pose and it was perfected. Look at the rolls. So I want you to take note now where his back foot is positioned and uh, compare that to where it's going to be posed in the next sort of 20-30 second clip or the finished image. You want those toes to be wedged as far forward um, in that little leg crease, like more on the back of his knee. If you lift up his bottom, you can bring that foot forward even more and it will lift his bottom a little higher. So this was where I was adding that second rectangled rice filled bean on top of the wedge that I showed you in that image previously. I wish I could just keep him like this. Don't do that with your leg, mister. So you want him to become the shape of the letter C. So here you will see, I want the top of his head to be the top of the C and the bottom of him or his bottom to be the bottom end of the C. So you can see when you bend him, he gets those really cute back side rolls happening and you want his knee to touch his elbow there so that you do get those rolls and he just looks snug and uh, a really cute little squished up kind of shape. Got the dummy good.
I'm so tired. Happy now? Grunting. Stop it. Too tense. That's it. Calm the farm, sweetheart. Good boy. <laughs> He's trying to open his eyes. Like, <laughs> what are you doing to me? <laughs> Well, he likes a good rap, that's for sure. Yeah. to keep babies on the floor change mat that I have um, rather than passing them back to their parents because especially if they're wrapped every single time the parents will somehow manage to unwrap them um, or baby will get confused and think it's time to feed so um, by putting him there I can just pick him up and put him back into the position that I need So this was the shape that I created under that flacati rug. You can see it's like a giant bowl kind of shape so he can sink all the way down into that hole and be very, very secure. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> the squeaks are killing me. Why are you so cute? Mm. Mm. So I'm just padding up all around him here so that he's really secure. Um, so basically creating like a ring of padding around him. And I'm just going to keep building it up so that he doesn't look like he's just sort of plonked on top of the fur. I want him to look like sunken down into the fur. Just navigating under all this fabric here. Somewhere under there, where is it? There it is. That's the spot. He's been um, double wrapped here, so he's really secure. <laughs> Precious. Oh my gosh. So oh. cute. <laughs> yeah, I better take a photo. Do you want to just, with your other hand, just hover here for me? Yeah, he's very secure, so he can't really go anywhere, but anyway. Right, just hover about here-ish. Yep, stay there. 